Hello, happy Sunday LinkedIn and welcome to volume 4 of my Microsoft HoloLens 2.0 tutorial series. And today I'm going to be briefly reviewing the OpenXR community standard uh, developed by the uh, Kronos community and everyone in the spatial computing industries including Microsoft and Vario uh, and, and Facebook and various other companies that are supporting this cross-platform, cross-integration um, type of a exposed API, which essentially what this does is this interface between the application um, and the and, and the runtime will handle all the functionality of frame composition, reprojection, headset management, head and hand tracking information. What this essentially allows us to do is develop one application across multiple hardware platforms with minimal modifications. This is very challenging at this at the, you know in the past five years or so because every single application you have to design was within a specific ecosystem, and we want to break out of that. So this is what this Open XR standard does, and there are inherent benefits to, to these kinds of open, exposed, uh, cross-platform APIs that enable developers and, and interested parties to uh, put forth their imagination into these applications very easily and then essentially broadcast them across five, six, seven, eight different types of devices. Now the benefits for this, number one, it's going to promote adoption across the augmented reality or virtual reality by helping to eliminate uh, you know, fragmentation of different companies by developing their own specific APIs. This has been a, t a terrible challenge for the past five or six years as we try to move the industry forward. We're always running into these roadblocks. And number two, it's going to enable uh, you know, developers and games and other applications written to this standard to work across a variety of these different platforms without having to port or rewrite the code and develop specific software development kits. Uh, essentially what this does is exponentially advance uh, the integration and the communication between companies and developers across the entire spectrum. Um, and number two, or number three, I'm sorry, it also greatly increased the developer productivity. If you think about this, if you have to de design your own SDK or exposed API, this is a tremendous amount of time that you have to uh, invest and you're not only your own application, but in the proof of concept itself. So this really helps with multi-platform support, as I discussed previously. And then number uh, number four, it's going to provide all kinds of vendors the support from the OpenXR community to have access to all these different uh, types of applications and code. It gives you sample code that you can take in. And this is where I really shine because I, I don't. If you look across the entire, uh, uh, you know, the coding spectrum of people looking at Python, C++, C, C Sharp, and all that. Uh, I'm not an expert in all those things, and what I do is go out and look for developers that have already published different applications with open source code, so I can see how they configured certain mathematical principles and formulas and hand tracking and vectors, and, and, and that essentially allows you to very quickly iterate, and that's where we want to go with these type of technologies. You know, open XR to me is, 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 is going to be the glue between, you know, Facebook and Microsoft uh, and, and View6 and various other companies. And, and look at even New Eyes um, and Unreal and, and all these other companies that are trying to do their own thing. Look at Magic Leap. Look how much time and effort they took in their system to try to develop their own proprietary tools. And look how that worked out for them. Not very well. They had to put in a lot of time and resources. And that's what this type of... Uh, application and, impl and the implications of this are far-reaching across the entire uh, spatial computing industry across the world. Now, what I'd also like to do today is just very briefly go through some of the example code in C and C Sharp. Um, and let's go ahead and go through that now. But thank you guys so much for tuning into this. I hope this helps you design some new applications for your organization. Uh, thank you. Let's let's jump into to the second portion of this volume. Hello and welcome back. Now we're going into the Visual Studio uh, chain here. And this, what this application is doing is showing you a sample uh, prototype to display hand tracking inputs that appear as hand mesh or joint axis. So you can clap your hands and toggle between different display modes. You can also use a, a simple procedure coloring of the hand mesh using the open palm for reference input. All of these sample applications um, and examples are in here for you so you understand how to take different joint material, mesh material, and different resources uh, for the primitive builders and the X and, and, and Y axes for the joint locations. And, and so, you can, so you can actually build your own type of primitives and your own type of hand tracking models for your applications. Now this is fascinating to me because you know, just a few years ago this was extraordinarily difficult. The challenge was exponential and now uh, you know, 
14, 15 year old developers can, can design an application in, in just a few hours. And that to me is the future where we want to you know, continue to foster uh, interest uh, you know, from all kinds of different developers and college age students and even, even people that are in their 40s, 50s and 60s, getting back into coding and spatial computing is gonna be that new explosion of opportunity across the world. And I can't wait to share it with you all. But again, this GitHub repository um, is there uh, and available for every single person who is interested to learn more about these types of technologies and if you ever have any questions I'm always here to help you guys along the way again thank you so much for tuning into this channel and I hope you have a wonderful day